Hello, my name is Nicola Benjamin. I'm a physiotherapist and medical biometrician. I work as part of a specialized team who have been researching rehabilitation for patients with pulmonary hypertension since 2003. This video is about breathing exercises, which is one key element of our rehabilitation program. These exercises are aimed at stretching your muscles, increasing your muscle strength and improving your breathing. I'll show you three different exercises that help in different ways. You might also benefit from starting with a mindfulness exercise, which I have demonstrated in a different video. Before we begin, there are a few important things to remember. pH affects different people in different ways, which means there is no universal guide to exercise and activity. How you're feeling will also change from day to day, as will how easy or difficult you find these techniques. Exercises should always be done in addition to your regular treatment. This video is not a substitute for professional guidance. It is just an introduction to breathing exercises and their benefits. To get the most out of rehabilitation exercises, you should seek for an individualized program tailored to your own particular needs. To find out more about this personalized support, get in touch with your PH Expert Center. Let's get started and feel free to pause the video while you're doing each exercise, then continue. This technique improves ventilation. As it keeps the airways open longer and decreases the work of breathing, it may help to release air trapped in the lungs. It improves your breathing pattern by helping fresh air into the lungs and helping old, used air to flow out of the lungs. In this way, it relieves shortness of breath and can help you feel relaxed. You can practice this technique four to five times a day. To get started, first relax your neck and shoulder muscles. Breathe in slowly through your nose. Purse your lips as if you were going to whistle or blow out a candle. Breathe out slowly and gently through your pursed lips. With regular practice, this technique will become natural to you. Breathe slowly, easily and relaxed. Try to breathe out for longer than you breathe in. It can be helpful to use this pursed lip breathing technique while doing the other exercises in this video. During this exercise, the muscles in your ribcage will become more relaxed and flexible. The reduced tension in your ribcage muscles will help your lungs to expand. However, this exercise isn't suitable if you have an IV pump. We will show you an alternative later on. First of all, it can also be helpful to have a few cushions or a blanket to hand for this exercise. Lie on your back with your arms bent and your hands supporting your head. Bend both knees and place your feet flat on the floor. Let your knees fall toward one side. Keep your upper back and arms flat against the ground as you let your legs fall to the side. Feel a nice stretch in your lower back, your hips and your upper side. It is important that you feel comfortable and relaxed. If the stretch is too strong for you to begin with, you can use a cushion or a blanket to support your elbows and your knees. Breathe and relax your knees toward the ground. Hold for approximately two minutes. The time may vary between one and three minutes, depending on when you feel your muscles relax. How does your body feel after this exercise? Does one side of the body feel different than the other? Does it feel longer or shorter? Does it feel warmer or colder than the other side? You can switch sides, letting your knees relax to the ground on the other side. How does your body feel now? Is there a difference between the sides? If you prefer, you can also do this exercise in a sitting position. Start by sitting on a chair in an upright position. 
Try to relax and let your hands drop to the sides. Place both your feet on the ground below your knees. Your hips should be a bit higher than your knees with your thighs angled slightly downwards. Cross one of your legs over the other leg. Place your opposite hand on the outside of your diagonal thigh to help you rotate. Try to lengthen your spine and get taller as you twist. Remember that a sitting position is always more strenuous than a lying position, so only hold this position for 5 to 10 breathing cycles. Before you begin with the other side, see how your body feels and whether there is a difference between sides. This yoga pose helps expand your chest cavity, allowing your lungs to breathe in more air and helping them get used to deep breathing techniques. Your neck muscles and nerves also become stronger and more responsive and your spine becomes more flexible. As there is less movement of the ribcage and no rotation of the spine during this exercise, it is more suitable for patients who have an IV pump. Please ask your physician whether you may perform this exercise with your particular IV system. Begin by lying on your back with your legs straight and close together. Start with your back straight and parallel to the floor. Your arms should be straight with your hands positioned under your thighs or right next to your body. Press your elbows down on the floor, take a deep breath while you are doing this. Slowly and gently increase the pressure underneath your elbows and forearms. This will slowly arch your back. Relax your legs and allow your chest to expand while taking in a long breath. This exercise may also be performed in a sitting position. Place both your feet on the ground below your knees. Your hips should be a bit higher than your knees with your thighs angled slightly downwards. Try to relax and let your hands drop to the sides. Gently tense your elbows backwards and downwards while lifting up your breastbone. Remember that a sitting position is always more strenuous than a lying position, so only hold this position for three to five breathing cycles. In all the exercises, it is important to listen to your body and not to push yourself too hard if it feels too difficult. Even if you are not able to perform the exercises as we have demonstrated, it may help to visualize the exercise while you are doing it. When you perform these techniques regularly, you will see the benefits in your muscle strength and flexibility. To find out more about these exercises, or for more information about getting your own individual training program, please speak to your PH specialist.